will chat gpt take my job can ai replace humans can ai replace writers can we trust ai will ai replace search engines if you also have similar questions in your mind then this video is for you just stick with me till the end if you have ever taken a photocopy especially before 2014 or so you must have realized that it's not exactly the same as the original ditto copy nahi hua basically so a story time the year was 2013 there was a german construction company noticing something super odd the workers photocopied a floor plan the original room was about 14.13 meters but then when they did the copy it was only 14 meters suddenly 0.13 meters gone to put that in value that is about 78000 rupees gone if you have a flat in bandra mumbai i made this calculation just check it out what happened this is a bit nerdy the company the construction company hired a computer scientist david creasel i mean because xerox is also a computer right it scans the document first and then prints it out so when david started to investigate he found a really interesting thing the xerox machine was compressing the document while printing so now there are two types of compression one is lossless and second is lossy So what is lossless compression? In lossless compression, there's nothing that is lost, right? So you can compress, you decompress, the same thing. You'll see, find the same thing. But in lossy, you compress, and then when you decompress, there's something that's lost, right? The photocopy compression was lossy. That's why it was somewhat close, but not exactly. After a few years, the rocks, the company. fix that but chat gpt or any large language models as we call llms by ai researchers are actually lossy compression of the internet so it's like imagine if the if entire internet was a 1 gb file then chat gpt is just a 10 mb file super compressed in with super jugaad and what happens in this process is that 99% of items are discarded or reduced to gibberish only additions is that you can't access this information or this version without asking specific questions and that's why the prompts a lot of people are becoming prompt engineer when you enter a prompt the server searches the information in this 10 mb compressed file that is chat gpt right formulates it passes it on to you but this is like a hallucination of the internet This is why if you ask ChatGPT something that requires basic foundational knowledge it might give you a wrong answer like maths that's what exactly is lossy compression and that's exactly on the principle of how ChatGPT works so the feeling of dissatisfaction when you write or make something when you just know you can do better maybe a word here maybe a word there maybe a brush of stroke here ChatGPT doesn't have that So don't worry. Don't think if your jobs are safe or not. Be more curious and really understand how all this works and it can help you. But don't disregard ChatGPT. It's a great tool. No arguments here. It's one of the biggest advances humanity has ever seen. That too at a huge scale, which is nothing but incredible. This 10 MB version of the internet despite its limitation has an incredible ability to assist in in mundane tasks making our lives easier the potential to streamline workflow and enhance productivity is immense personally i use it to formulate my emails better and all the other donkey works and if you use it correctly and cautiously it won't take away your job for sure instead you might get a promotion i just hope that this was helpful you understood how chat gpt works a bit more in depth and why you should not trust it every time but also how you can leverage it for making your life easier with that bye bye and we'll see you in the next video till that please go and subscribe like and check out online product